Hello everyone and welcome back to Evil Laugh Gaming. We are playing the Curious Expedition. And last time we uh, had our fair share of troubles. Let's go to the Arctic. We've not been to the Arctic yet. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I made haste and arrived at the docks. There were still some arrangements to be made, so I skinned some stones on the water. Not long after my arrival, the scientist approached me. He was keen to obtain the mysterious box. I did not have the box for him, but the scientist was quite upset. A one-eyed hunter approached me with a request. He heard about my trek and regaled me, so about a vicious hyena called Snarl Ratter. Rattle. He despised, despised the creature with all his heart and desired it to be killed. A handsome reward would await me if I were able to return with its skin. Um, sure. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our hunt. There was far more famous adventure preparing their boats right now. So I was not surprised to see a little interest in the departure of our ship. Thankfully, someone was inclined to show up and offered to join our expedition. Thank you. We need people right now. We could be certain we could certainly use a trader like Sam Shaw in our number. I rejoiced as the ship prepared to heed for distant shores. Okay. Um. Hmm. Telescope. Empty canvas. All right. We need all the chocolate. Chocolate has proven to be super valuable. Going to the Arctic, so I'm pretty sure we're going to need snowshoes. Yeah. And torches. And bullets. Since we have to fight a thing. Um, will a shovel be useful? I don't know. We'll go with that. See what happens. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I guess we go. So we did not get a new animal. After an unexpectedly calm voyage, we arrive at the expedition area. I was curious to discover what adventures were awaiting us here. Okay, so first off. Um, I don't need that. I don't need those, I don't think. So leaves us overburdened. Um, no, not going to take that with us. Now we're going to leave the rope behind. Okay. Let's go. I'm scared. Alright. Take your loyalty. I approached an abandoned campsite I found torn tents. I started digging around myself under the snow cover. I found their cast grizzly remains. A Norwegian group covered in odorous blubber and stab wounds. I took the time to give the dead a proper burial. I spotted animal tracks. I had to keep moving or end up someone else's dinner. 
This place surely retains some trinkets of worth. I search people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We were delighted to see that one of the curses was still clinging to valuable equipment. Ooh, wow. Huh. Ooh, a treasure map. Alright. We're already overburdened now. Uh oh. As we left, we noticed that our presence had attracted ravenous wildlife. Ooh. Let's, uh, go this way. Yeah? Aha! Polar station. Times were dark, dark, bah. And Sam Shaw was my only human companion. What? Um, is he not considered human anymore? <laughs> it was just a matter of time until we get to, into a pointless argument. I don't exactly recall how it started, but it involved an indecent amount of differences between God and my chances of survival. We did not speak for the rest of the day. Uh huh. Such a big station, much of them operated by a large group, but I was greeted only by the Ashen Man. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. We walked past the room filled with blankets and armor, and I was sticking out of them. It was badly burnt. I was sure his companions were just out. Who? Alright, let's rest. I enjoyed his hospitality. Hospitality out of the corner of my eye, I saw some things scurry away in the shadows. And the whole night I heard something scratch and scrape the door of the pillman. Today was nothing like that before. He wished and wished me well. Alright. Um, ooh, dog sled. Can we trade? Oh, he has tickets, okay. Haggle. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, food camps. Nice. And water. I don't need water. Hmm. Use the dog sled. The mailman returned to the question of our tickets. Apparently, these tickets would buy me passage with his sled. The ticket he showed me felt strange to the touch. What was it made of? He offered me to travel to the following locations. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, I like that. Two points. All right, fine. All right. Um, same thing. All right. Let's leave. Morale is good. Check this map again. Pass anywhere that looks like this. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Ooh. Alright, so we can go up or down. Let's 
How do we go down first since it's uh, smaller? Oh geez, really? That's going to take like all my sanity to, to get over there. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have to go this way now. Great. Oh, hey. Is that the hyena we have to kill? I bet it is. We approached the cave. The entrance led into the darkness. Unknown depths. We burned a torch. Okay. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a chamber. It obviously served as some kind of ceremonial tomb. Within were large wrapped bundles that seemed to hold the prodigious remains of dead bodies. Oh boy. Many of the mummies were too old and fragile to be of any intrinsic value, however, after thorough investigation, our search proved fruitful. Huh. Alright, some mummies. Let's head on back. Oh no, already? Shot found an alluring fruit. We were. How do you find fruit in art? Whatever. We were investigating it and wondered if it was edible when it suddenly spurred a pungent fluid at Sancho. Or, fluid at us. Sancho was stupid enough for it to completely cover his face. He remained somewhat unmoved, probably shocked. Soon his eyes turned grayish and he had trouble recognizing anything surrounding us. Uh oh. I could only hope that this was not. The final end of his sight. Otherwise, he would be a little used for this expedition. Great. Take seven. Throw on a can of beans. Perfect. Deal. <laughs> Alright, so let's rest one night. The warm beds were a welcome reprieve from the cold, considering the circumstances of stuff like royalty. There was even warm water. Okay. I dreamt the sleep. I dreamt the sleeper awakened from the ice sarcophagus, but otherwise it was an uneventful night. I did not like this station one bit. Okay, well, we're gonna leave now. I really think that is the hyena we're supposed to fight. again. Alright, same deal. Let's leave to the boat. Yeah? Can I not? 
Really? Can't eat them, huh? Lame. Alright. Um, I mean... We can dump them. the lead while walking a few steps behind him. I noticed he was constantly scratching his neck again. And I saw something that looked like moving a hive of insects just under his skin. Oh jeez. Strange bite mark. Too late when I noticed the court had consumed a great deal of alcohol. It did not take long for the team members to join the drinking. Alright, let's just allow the drinking. The party continued. After all the hard work, the group deserved an evening of bliss. If it had meant, if it meant less focus on the morrow. Sounds good. After days of resting, we still enjoy the first sea air. Alright, let's go back to this. Hmm. See if we can find that hyena. Oh, now it's nowhere to be seen. Hmm. I'm still looking for anywhere that looks like that. There he is. Oh, he's feeling better now. Excellent. Let's eat some chocolate. See if we can fight this thing while he's on our side. Okay. Aha! It is Snarfalata, yeah. Okay. 
food. Ow. Ooh. Oh, I didn't bring any medical kits. Crap. Four damage versus... Yeah, we'll take four damage, just... No! Dang it! Okay. together. enjoyed this and you want to see more of it uh let me know in the comments and we'll see you next time